I was pretty sure that we, we should have three missionaries total, but now they are stuck in, well, sort of stuck in uh, uh, the Gold Province, Sonoketi or something like that, then uh, one in Derbent and another one in Chechnya. And I'm guessing all of them are now, technically speaking, fully converted. Or at least more or less. Now also, the corruption, I wonder how big of an impact we are having also. Let's have a look at the force limit. Oh, with three of our force limit. Well, that's going to cost us a lot. And yeah, it's 2.8 over here, but that might change. It's... Okay, 736. So we just need 14 more development. Not quite there in terms of economy, though. So I don't think I can do that. Although, how much is that? It's 0.7 ducats per month. So that's not enough. We're still losing... Well, 2.2 ducats per month. I still got the cash to sort of push forward, but it's uh, starting to have a bit of an impact already. And how the... No, the autonomy over here is still pretty darn high, so it actually didn't have that big of an impact. At least Ormia is 95 now. Although I'm pretty sure that it wasn't quite 100 when we made that into a state. And also over here was a little 100%. I don't suppose we've done any harborages in here. Also, well, getting to the harborage or harbor over here is still quite time consuming. Does it tell how many days it takes? Um, not directly. But I think something like Odishi would be really good. I mean, they got, oh, they got a natural location in there. That would actually be really good for, uh, like, a harborage that is going to link up to other areas within the Black Sea. Right now, it hasn't really been a good option. But yeah, Fadal is no more. Uh, art kits, I don't think I can vassalize you, can I? You would accept the vassalization, I believe, but we can't get religion or relations with you high enough. Which is a bit of a problem. I mean, I can offer military access. Not that you necessarily need it. That would be a little bit more. If we can give them a gift for 25, that would get us to a little bit more. I could guarantee them. Uh, if, yeah, I haven't guaranteed them yet. The, the guarantee is going to get us to like around 130-ish. If we can improve relations. No, we've been improving relations with them already. So it's already 100%. They want some of my subject provinces. All right, guaranteed. Oh, that's the plus 20 these days. Okay. So now we're at gift. Are they giving me the trade power yet? They are. Request to share maps. Is there anything that way? I suppose Arabia wouldn't be a bad one. Um, with no units attached. Oh, right. We'd have to have some troops over here somewhere. Or we'd have to walk all the way down here with the Mamluk lands. I mean, that's, I suppose, a possibility. I don't know if that increases relations with, though. I don't think it actually does. I could ask for military access from them. That increases my relations with them at least and then so the gift would be 25 if i remember correctly if we give it as much as we need so that would get us to let's see 164 after that we still need another 26 points so i don't think we can get them to be all that friendly with us i'm afraid oh, we can get a claim on down here oh the turkish empire is fighting a war what are they fighting Rotinsk and Nishin Novgorod. All right, um, so they're advancing further into Russia. Oh, it's kind of, uh, <laughs> they're taking that one, aren't they? Or trying to, anyway. Technically speaking, even together with myself and Mamluks and Commonwealth, we could take on Ottomans fairly easy. But the question is, how would we best break them? That's a bit of a problem. Because they got a pretty decent economy. Although, I suppose if we loot most of their land, then that would cause quite a bit of hindrance for the economy. But it, it's still going to be quite time-consuming and very expensive war and right now our, our income is well it's a bit of a downturn right now we had a pretty good income for a while i suppose since uh, there's been reduction in the income momentarily like that it's gonna change for the better well eventually and at that point the we get more taxes and we get from the taxes we can then recruit more manpower which means that our force limit is gonna go up again well, yeah, the corruption is also pretty high, isn't it? Especially the provincial corruption. So I'm hoping to get the legitimacy down a little bit. And I believe Tabriz now has the... Yeah, it does have the... Um, oh, Tabriz has autonomy of 88. Oh, it's actually going up over there. Right, it's got important center of learning. So that's good. It's got level 4 amenities already. So it can have up to 200,000 residents. It's only got 67,000. So there's definitely room for growth in there. Oh, the uh, Kazoo is tricks. Excellent. Okay, okay the conquest of Casas against Turkish Empire. I'm gonna get another 
Oh, wait. No, I can't get another one. I suppose I could upgrade the ships at least. Should be that expensive. And we're making money now again. Excellent. Not a massive amount, but it's uh, starting to turn a lot better. Now, I suppose, how long does it take for the modifier to increase power? Or rather, reduce the power. Demoted creating ability, that's going to expire in four years. So after that, the stability is going to start going up again. And it's going to fix a lot of things. Oh. Barbarism by boot camp. Plus five discipline. So we got the max skill level on our army. Hmm. I mean, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Centralization is already 30. Oh, and there goes the truces again. We get the... Ooh, hold on a minute. Yeah, that is tempting. Trying to access the religious capability against nearby heathens and heretics with high enough piety. Oh, right. Do we have the high enough piety is the question. I don't think we do. How do we get the piety is the question. Like right now, it says that it's... Well, it's the church influence. I'm not entirely sure if that is the piety or not. Church property up, up to 60%. Uh, less ten percent if they pay taxes, and another ten percent if your ruler is the head of state, religion, or otherwise controlled investiture. This country is beginning the game with half this, modified by type of country. Russia is twenty. Having a religious form of education can increase up to ten percent, while having secular education system can reduce it up to ten percent. Okay, so we probably just don't have the influence there, so I don't think we'll be able to use uh, Castle Belly from it. Just out of curiosity, though, do we have any sort of castle belly against Magulistan? We got the conquest, but that's about it. But like, if they're already being seized down by someone else in here, oh, oh, there we go. Holy war against Mamluks, Corsic, Dolgadir, Katenga, Zabir. Yeah, okay. And since there's not that many Orthodox nations, it's uh, <laughs> it's a lot of castle bellies. Right. So if we have a look at Magulistan now, we got the. Holy War Casabelli, which is... Yeah, we've already had this Casabelli, thanks to Karaki Yunlu. Magulistan has... They've all got... Relative, oh, Korsi would join on their side. Of course, we got the truth with Korsi still, don't we? Yeah, we do. For another three years. I'd like to take these five provinces still, and maybe the rest of that I can feed to Karaki Yunlu at some point. Are we still over our force limits? Oh, yeah. By four regiments. So that entire army is uh, a bit too much right now. I'm actually surprised that the prestige is going up that much. I suppose we've got so many provincial modifiers in here that is actually starting to pile up quite nicely. Now, how is the... No, the... Uh, not corruption. Well, corruption has probably gone up, but the development hasn't gone up at our capital. And then what about Tabreus? It's 16 still. It's got rapid communications, almost 80% communication sufficiency. I think one thing that we do need over here is better roads. But well, this one's still pretty good. I mean, we've got a road, or level 3 road going through these two. So then getting across the river over here, all through this one, that's level 2. That's level 1 roads. Of Akras Highlands. That's a Shrub Mountains, which, to be fair, is probably not the best uh, location to build roads in. I'm actually a bit surprised that we don't have a garrison in here. What sort of productions do we have in this province? Uh, oh, there's room for a lot of mining. Of metal. As the metal or the raw material price, it's actually quite low. So we kind of need to get more industry, really, that are using it. And the industry problem is that we just don't have that many things that are worthwhile. Make well, they are. Oh wow, delicacy price is still through the roof. My goodness. All right, well let's go for the simplified terrain map mode. Have a look at some forest islands to check if they are actually doing any hunting. For example, this one. Uh, there is nothing in the forestries. So definitely select that one. Then we've got another forest mountain in here. Uh, that one's already full. Uh, that one's pretty much full. So what are the hills over here, which... Oh, there's plenty of room for that one. What about Emirati, yeah? We've got 22 units in there. We've only got timber, so we can select that one as well. We're going to start getting some more hunting going on. Currently, I believe we already opened that one in. Uh, no, we didn't. Okay, you know what? We'll open it there as well. So, open new slots. Hold on. There you are. So that is going to increase, uh, especially the delicacies production, because it seems like there is a massive demand for it right now. And looking at the prices, it's just, um, it's 22, so it's up by 10 ducats per unit. Yeah, it's quite sizable. It's definitely quite sizable. Ooh, uh, Magulistan, we should probably get a claim on you, shouldn't we? Or rather, another claim on you. You're no longer at war, so there's that. Still allowed to cause it, you've got great horde of vessels, eight. They lost yet another one. Oh, wow. <laughs> Magulistan is not going uh, very strong anymore. 
I wonder, can ten guys allied to Hindustan and VJ? They got um, Bangladesh as a um, division, and Sin, Sistan, and Ormuzgan as um, vassals. So yeah, they are quite strong compared to me. I mean, together with Mamluks, I can probably beat them to some degree. Although I suppose VJ is still pretty darn strong, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay, so well, at the same time, we don't necessarily need to go into India anyway. If we can just get through this area into here, we should be able to get some silk going. And then through there we can, one way or another, get or reach Ming at some point. Doesn't necessarily need to be happening immediately. So I think what we should probably do is focus a little bit more on the Turkish Empire. Of course, we do not have the troops right now. Hello, interesting. How's it going? Uh, we don't have the troops right now to necessarily beat down the Turkish Empire quite yet. I mean, they got 54,000. If we have a look at the total numbers... Oh, Arkit is on their side again, alright. Uh, but yeah, there's um, 60,000 men on the enemy side. Of course, on our side, it's not too bad. So I don't know how the religious war cast a spell against them, but I suppose if I declare war on Astrakhan, which apparently do have... Oh, wow. They really have... Oh, I don't have the religious war cast a spell against them. It's only, I guess, neighbors, and they are technically not a neighbor. They've got 23,000 men. I'm actually a bit surprised by that. I mean, how? They don't have that much area. I suppose there might be a, a lot of population in here or something. Okay, there's 100,000 there. 168,000 nomads. Oh, right. How much were there nomads in here? 68,000. Yeah, okay. So they're using a lot of nomad army, I suppose. There's 100,000, well, 130,000 peasants there. So in terms of raw population, they actually are pretty strong. But not very advanced. In terms of like a lot of production and all that. So the economy is probably rather rubbish. And it's just so we're kind of in a position where there's a larger alliances going around us. That we don't necessarily want to meddle with quite yet. And that makes it quite difficult to expand into areas. I mean, I think honestly, once we get our manpower pool sold again. Which is probably not that far off. Ooh, have we got on the... Noble power down. Oh, it's 83%. Okay, so for the nobility thing, it's just the aristocratic in Oh, Magulistan allows me as a rival. So the aristocratic influence needs to go down. Which, at the start of the year, it did go down. I mean, it's going down by 0.13 per month. So in about... Well, it's not, not going to lose that much uh, influence per year. At least it's pretty realistic, uh, gaining a little bit. Actually, one thing that I suppose I could do... So I could do the show of devotion. Uh, assuming that it doesn't... It's not legitimate. It gives a bit of prestige. Or uh, of course a bit of prestige and a bit of other points. It's spirituality and uh, clergy loyalty. That's actually a good idea. Oh, and the <laughs> provincial corruption is still at 80... Or not 80, 70%. So yeah, that is having a bit of an impact on the income there. We did manage to get it below 60% for a while. Oh, nobility is loyalty is... Okay, yeah, that's something that we need to worry about. Um, we could do the strategic marriage. That's going to get us the zero stability at least. And duplicate reputation goes up. Loyalty goes up by 7.5, so that's sufficient. It's going to slow down the reduction of their power. But right now, I think if we can just get this nobility reform done. So we probably don't want to do any reforms until we get to that one. And once we do get that one... Um, well, actually, I'm still not entirely sure if we can reduce the gravity over here for the influence. Because they seem to be getting quite a bit. And now they'll be getting even more because of their noble marriage. So that's bad. But at the same time, at least we can get their loyalty up sufficiently so that it's not going to cause problems there. There is, of course, the taxation thing that we could do. It's going to cost a lot of admin points and stability. Um, but that would get us more money, which is always nice. Also, a little bit less mana cost for the taxes, which is means that we can have more taxes, which means even more money. So that would actually be quite a smart thing to get at some point in the near future. Let's have a look at the autonomy map mode now. Has it improved at all? Um, it hasn't really improved that much. Like maybe a little bit down here. Just about, but again, that may have been already partially reduced by... Well, actually, I don't know. Oh, is this one one of the rivers? Oh, it is. Interesting. So there's one over here, isn't it? No, actually there isn't. How is the commercialization 
spreading now. I know it's still fairly slow. It's 73% at uh, Shirvan. It's not spreading to our capital at all. Uh, 57 at Kizilar. Almost 59 at uh, Salavan and... Okay, oh, we lost a military engineer. Alright, let's have a look at the options that we have. Ooh, a Commandant, that's not too bad. There's only a skill of one though. We could probably afford getting a better one. Or, well, there's the clergy, but I think we're just going to go with the Commandant here. We can always just upgrade him. Oh, it's oh, less than a ducat. Like, the corruption is going to go a little bit higher from that, but it's not too bad. The corruption overall is still going down, which means that I'll certainly take that. Uh, is there... Right, Best Arabia is probably going to be the next thing that we claim. If I could start setting a bit of an exclave over here into Romania and then go through Bulgaria and into, like, Constantinople and then also... Uh, I don't know, one port of... Actually, that one could also work as a port into the Mediterranean. That would technically be part of it. I'd say that anything over here in Sea of Marmara doesn't count. But, like, uh, Thracian Sea should already be sufficient for the goal of having a port in um, Mediterranean. Of course, we don't have a land route to it, but that's something that we can probably try fixing over time. Now, one thing that I would like to do is also take the lands from... Commonwealth over here at some point, but at the same time, I don't think we're quite ready for it yet. Let's actually have a look if we can start getting a bit more manpower right now, because we are still at 15,500. Uh, we were, or we peaked at, with this same amount of troops, at around 22,000. But then we had a bit of a problem, or like a few problems sprung up, and yeah, it's not quite as good. Oh, 17, okay, so that's an extra 2,000 manpower now. So I think that may have increased the force limit by at least one, yeah. So we're only three over. All right, I'm getting four duckets per month, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, the development hasn't really gone up, though. How many things are we constructing? Nothing at the capital. This one's one of the places that does still do constructions, but they, yeah, they did get the harbor in here. Do they have any sort of production in there? There's a little bit of industry. And there is potential for forestries, but that's about it. Of course he's building spot networks on me, alright. Okay, three and a half ducats now, income per month. That's still decent enough. I'll take it. How much is the... Oh, we could even have another... Well, we could afford having yet another light ship out. Uh, we're repairing the galleys. Or well, still, technically speaking, upgrading them. I was wondering, like, is there anything over here that we could... Uh, do. Like, Corsa is something that we can fight. Uh, they're not allied to... No, they are allied to Turkish Empire again. Well, dang it. Didn't we just break your alliance already recently? I'm sure we did. In the peace deal, but they're at it again. The Magulistan is another option. They are still allied to Corset. Uh We do not have a truce with them anymore, do we? No. Oh, I suppose... How much would there be development in there? That's four, six, so that's ten. 14, 21. Oh, that's Sistan. Okay. If we take these four provinces, that would already get us to the 750, so we can become the proper empire. Or significant uh, rate. And I believe that is going to allow us to get the accepted cultures for free. So that might be actually somewhat decent. But if we declare war on Magulis now, how large of an army are we fighting then? Uh, I mean, it's a possibility. Just me. Um, Drebison wouldn't join. I could maybe call in Artkids this time, or maybe even Sabir. Sabir probably would be a nice uh, thing to, you know, keep in check in a way. And if they start spending some... Oh, they have no manpower. What have they been doing? Do they have them somewhere just attritioning? Oh, they've got a lot of pretender rebellions. All right. So maybe not uh, Sabir. I don't know if I want to call in Mamluks again. I mean, I suppose Artkits would be an option. But before I do that, we should probably wait for some of these rebellions to be sorted out one way or another. A fair chunk of them are here in the sort of new regions that we conquered recently. I suppose I could just provoke them, but at the same time, I'd rather not waste the manpower for fighting a larger enemy than I have to. We can afford waiting. We've got a lot of uh, states that we could do. We have a look, so there's all of that that hasn't been made into states, and then there's the Fars region, or the southern areas over here that haven't been done. Do we have, oh, right, we got the points to get another claim on over here, so Bessarabia. 
And I dare say this uh, Romanian region is definitely not a, a familiar area for us. Like we certainly didn't spend 200 episodes uh, our worth of uh, YouTube uh, videos and streams to almost a world congress in Heart Run 3. No, sir. Okay, so three and a half targets is still the income. Corruption is yeah, it's still dropping. 0.9 per year, which is still pretty decent, considering that we're below 20. So I don't know, like myself with the 20,000, I suppose if I can gather up the Ossetian troops and Karaka Yunlu troops, those could deal with the uh, Corset over here. I could still take their capital and maybe, well, I suppose I got these two claims. Now, how is the, ooh, actually, yeah, before we do war declarations, that isn't too bad. Actually, there's no aggressive expansion towards the west. And towards the east, there's mm, Magulistan. That's about it. So yeah, that's actually not too bad. Uh, we could get tech knowledge. Is that Diplo Tech? No, that's Admin Tech. Um, yeah, I suppose I could take that. Try to catch up a little bit. Oh, and the next mill tech is going to be Artillery Fire. Ooh. Right, so that's when the artillery is going to start ruling the battlefield. All right. Um, how is the... The Colombian Impulse, we've got that one at least. And casual literacy, is that spreading? And uh, no. Because we haven't embraced commercialization. Like it wants to spread, but it can't. Is the problem. I don't suppose, do we have any commerce in here? I don't think we have enough of population in there really to have commerce. Well, there might, no, there's not enough residents in there. I suppose if we were to invest a lot, of, oh, it's armoring production. I mean, it's not the worst. I suppose we could invest a little bit there manually then. Let's just go ahead and do that. No, not that. Um, industry. Uh, it was the province there. Did Kizilar have any sort of uh, industry? We got houseware, but there's, oh, there's basically nothing in there. Alright, let's just invest a little bit in that as well. It's going to cause some problems for the production price there. Or the wages for a little bit. But it's also going to start pulling in a, like a lot of uh, population from somewhere. And then, you know, hopefully we can get the development growing in there and, you know, maybe we can open up some commercial or commerce production. And that way we can slowly but surely get the commercialization spreading faster in these two, which then starts opening up the possibility of spreading elsewhere as well. Now, to be fair, also the um, institution placement cost is uh, dependent on, or how much of an impact they have is dependent on how much... Um, autonomy they have. So if we reduce the autonomy, especially in Baku and their bends, that would already make uh, the embracing cost a little bit cheaper, or it might actually get us slowly but surely closer to being able to embrace the institutions. So technically speaking, if we started in, or investing in Baku and their brand more, we'll, we'll do that after the investments in the summertime. So that we can see if there is already investments in here, then we don't necessarily need to do that. But if there isn't, then we probably should do some investments because we definitely want these to be high development. And well, the autonomy is it is actually going down right now. Not massively, but it is going down. How is the... Oh, the actual influence is still 45. All right. Uh, I don't suppose there's anything or the promoted factions that we can do influential... Tenant abuse, noble concessions, which isn't by the Puka. Oh, we could actually do that. Okay. Let's get the tech first, and then over here we could um, promote the bureaucrat faction again, I think. So basically, increase in wall is good. Bureaucratic corruption goes up a little bit, so it's going to be over 75 again. Which means that the loyalty actually drops. Well, I mean, it's an inverse in there, so it kind of makes sense. Or it rather it tracks. Um, but yeah, how is the influence now? 42. Okay, so we didn't actually make that big of a difference in there. But I'm hoping that if we can keep the influence going and going and going, slowly but surely the gravity will drop. I mean, I suppose another thing that I could do, uh, once we get through some of the modifiers in here, there's, well, there's an unpopular relative that we could do, but that's legitimacy. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do the alignment of cabinet either, so I guess we don't really have a lot of options in there. But, like, we need to get the nobility's loyalty up sufficiently that we can start reducing some of the monopolies. Yeah, I probably ate the, those two more. That's true, because the aristocrats have a lot of gravity in there. Take time or a scandal, yeah. A scandal would be nice. I'd be willing to sacrifice a little bit of the stability for that, although... Hmm, 
It might be quite risky. Depends on when it happens, let's just put it that way. I'm pretty sure that we're going to get the Brugge take over soon again. And at that point we can... Oh, right, there's Noble Marriage that's increasing the influence there. Right. Well, that's a bit of a bummer then. 